once Congress returned from the April break. This as we see a spike in apprehensions at the southern border, topping half a million just about halfway through this fiscal year. We're getting these numbers from the uh, Border Patrol uh, group at the southern border. We are, we are back with Senator Lindsey Graham right now, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Senator, what can you tell us about that package that you've been planning to unleash? Well, why are we going to have a million people from Central America? Why is it doubling? Because words out on the street in Central America, if you bring a minor child with you to America, we can only hold a minor child for 20 days. We release everybody, including the adults. They never show up for the hearing because it's three years from now. We also has been found out in Central America. If you ask for asylum, nobody's trying not to get caught. They're going to a border agent. Border Patrol agent saying, I want asylum. The hearings are two, three, four years down the road. Nobody ever shows up for the hearing. So we're going to change the asylum law that you have to apply in the country where you live or Mexico. We're going to stop Central American applications being made at the border because we don't have enough judges uh, for hearing dates. We're going to go to 100 days. We can hold minor children for 100 days so that we can actually process the entire family without letting them go. We're going to increase judges by 500. We got almost 900,000 backlog of asylum claims. We're going to wipe out the backlog. You got to apply for asylum where you live or in Mexico, no longer from the United States. And if you're an unaccompanied minor, we're going to send you back to Central America as if you lived in Mexico, which would be a change in our laws. This should stop 90 percent of the legal immigration from Central America. So you're going to drop this package this upcoming week, Senator. Tell me what you're planning in terms of uh, approaching the law and changing the laws, actually getting rid of some of these loopholes. Right. Well, we've got a perfect storm now because of broken laws. If you're from Central America, we can't send unaccompanied minors back to Central America like you do from Mexico and Canada. We're going to change that. You can only hold a, a, a minor for 20 days. We're going to go to 100 days. But most importantly, you can no longer apply for asylum at our border. If you're from Central America, you have to apply for asylum at a consulate in your country. We're going to set up one in Mexico. You can apply. If you don't apply there, you're going to be turned down when you get to our border. So we're going to change the underlying broken laws to stop what I think is literally an invasion of people from Central America. I'm going to introduce it Wednesday. Okay, so you're going to introduce this bill on Wednesday. Do you think it will pass? If the Democrats have a better idea, tell me what it is. We're on track to get a million uh, illegal immigrants from Central America. We got a 900,000 person backlog. I'm going to have 500 immigration judges to clear the backlog. If you got a better idea, say so. It is not a manufactured crisis. I want to start a debate of how to fix this problem before it just swamps the border. You know, what we saw when we were on the border two weeks ago was so stunning in terms of the children. They're putting kids in such dangerous yes. situations. And, and the mayor of El Paso, De Margo, told me that there is a renting of children program going on in these countries where mothers will give rent their child. They're getting money. The child comes over the border <coughs> with someone, someone, a smuggler, an illegal, right, and then right. they just send the kid back and then they do it again. So the president says that he wants to start yeah, so swabbing you, the DNA so that we know if, if that <clears throat> child was coming over the border multiple times. Do you think that would work? Well, number one, it will work because if you bring in a child not yours, it's a fraud and you're denied the ability to make a claim. So that will deter the smugglers. But we got a an unusual situation. If you're a child from Central America, we have to release you in 20 days. Everybody knows we can't do a hearing in 20 days, so we're going to change that law. If you come to Central America and ask for asylum, you're entitled to a hearing. They never show up to the hearing because it's three or four years down the road. We're going to require people from Central America to apply for asylum in their home country or Mexico, not America, to break this uh, tsunami of illegal immigrants coming from Central America. So, so seriously, do you think this can pass or is this going to be a 2020 issue? It's going to either get passed, and I'm willing to do things that Democrats want to close these loopholes, mm -hmm. but I'm not willing to ignore it any longer. We're going to have a vote, have a hearing and a vote in judiciary. It will be a huge issue in 2020. President Trump is trying to fix a perfect storm of illegal immigration coming from Central America. The Democrats are going to do one of two things, work with us to find a bipartisan solution 
ignore the problem. And if they ignore the problem, it's going to help Trump. If they work with us, it helps the whole country. All right. Before we go, I, I want to ask you about Venezuela, but I also want to ask you about China. Obviously, the talks broke down in terms of the U.S. and China. And